BrainHost Web Builder also gives users the option to access their cPanel. cPanel is a web-based program that you can use to manage your website. Keep in mind that if you are new to owning a website or don't have much experience, it will probably be easier for you to manage your website from the Web Builder instead of using cPanel. Let's begin by logging into the Web Builder. Now if you want to give this a try, let's go ahead and click this button up here that says cPanel for Advanced Users. cPanel looks just like this and it gives you the ability to handle many of the administrative tasks for your website. We won't go over the specifics of how to perform these tasks in this tutorial, but we will highlight some of the things you can do in cPanel. Changing your cPanel password. To change your cPanel password, click on Change Password in the Preferences box right here. Creating email accounts for your website. To create email accounts for your website, for example, your name at yourwebsite.com, click on email accounts in the mailbox, which is right here. Checking your email accounts. To check the email accounts that you create for your website, click on webmail in the mailbox, which is right here. Installing software on your website. We're going to go ahead and scroll down here. And to install software on your website, such as WordPress, Zencart, or Drupal, Click on Fantastico Deluxe, which you'll find right here in the Software Services box. Adding a subdomain to your website. To add a subdomain to your main website, click on Subdomains in the Domains box, which is right here. Backing up your website. We're going to go ahead and scroll back up here. And to back up your website, click on Backup Wizard in the Files box, which is right here. Uploading and managing your website files. To upload new files to your website or manage the files that are already there, Click on Legacy File Manager, which is in the Files box, which is right here. Now note, do not delete any files unless you know exactly what they are. Deleting important files by mistake can break your website. These are just some of the many things you can do in cPanel. Spend some time exploring your cPanel and learning the various ways that you can manage your website. If you find cPanel difficult or confusing, remember you can always exit out of it and go back to the web builder.